Hi everyone and welcome back to Motor Mondo. So today we are doing two more time trials. Very different cars indeed. So the first one up is the Ford Roadster with 179 brake horsepower. Front engined rear wheel drive car. As you can read about it there, it stems from being the first car to equip the cutting edge V8 engine. The car was only produced for a single year in 1932. The car with the number plate V3883 is displayed in the Henry Ford Museum. The juice. So that's a quick look at the car guys. I thought I'd show it you. And now we're going to have a look. Now I have no idea where this car is going to come in this list. But kind of around the mid table is where we always aim for. So this is my third lap. And uh, take that corner pretty well. Went a little bit wide there. But yeah, it's quite a fun little car, something a little bit different. And actually quite enjoyed doing a lap in this. We made it over 100 miles an hour up the hill. You notice it's only got three gears. Oh, drifting a little bit there, guys. See, I made a mistake there. I mean, I could have gained a lot more time through that little section. So it's got potential to go even faster. The question is, can I break that two minute mark in this car? So the head of us is the ghost car, but the ghost car is set away in front of my actual lap time. So I'm actually doing really well here guys, as you can see, we're up by quite a bit. And the light shines on the dashboard, it actually looks beautiful. With the, uh, with the uh, steel faced. dashboard layout so there we go guys we're going to come over the line so close so close to getting a two minute so we've got a 2016 actually that's really good so i'll just let you enjoy the lap
Okay, everyone, so let's have a look at the lap time. So fifth overall, she's not bad. That I3 that we drove is only just ahead. Well, it's about half a second ahead, which is obviously quite a lot, probably. But the Mazda Roadster S is uh, behind. But it does sit in the higher category. Which obviously makes it a lot slower than the Polo. In that, in that category anyway. In the PP500 category. But overall... Not bad at all. And I quite enjoyed driving the car. But yeah, slightly disappointed that it's PP500 and it's so far behind the Polo. So next up everyone, we are in a Japanese car. This time we are riding in the Nissan Silvia K Deer selection S13 from 1990. So this car, S13 Silvia, was a popular option set as standard. The Silvia, which was called the 240SX in the United States, had a loyal following since it was first introduced in 1988 because of its extremely sporty nature and head turning good looks. The most popular was the fifth generation, which many felt was most attractive in the car's lineage. Produced from 1998 to 1993 and dubbed the S13, the stylish QP was also heralded by the media, garnering Japan Car of the Year honours in 1988. It produced 173 horsepower from Nissan's KA18 DET turbocharged DOHC inline 4 now this car uses multi-link suspension and uh, it's front engine rear wheel drive actually really good fun i really enjoyed driving this car it was really uh, quite stable and i'm able to put in decentish time in this car as you can see it's definitely classic late 80s design but yeah it handled as you can see it handles pretty well it's not as boaty um, as you would expect and I take that corner beautifully that's a good turn that is guys okay so are we going to do two minutes no unfortunately not making the two minute so what we'll do now is we'll just run the replay and uh, show you that for you to enjoy
so that's that car done everyone really enjoyed it good fun now we'll have a look at the times and where do we come just actually behind the roadster not far behind it sort of a second shy but six overall six overall so yeah not bad at all everyone well i hope you enjoyed today's upload and we'll be back again soon with more time trials using different cars thank you and goodbye <laughs>